Well, my talk is about to how to get uh, the local people more connected to the international people uh, because um, we spend a lot of time and energy in the Eindhoven area in recruiting international talent and then we basically say, well, here's a job, good luck and uh, I will see you again at work. Uh, the Dutch culture is really closed for, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, work, keeping work and uh, not work separated. So uh, we are really bad at uh, trying to fit these new talents into our personal society which is eventually one of the biggest part I think that they are leaving and then we spend all this time investing in getting talent over and not taking care of them basically so I want to address the, the issue that it's actually quite fun to do stuff with this international talent and there's a lot of things you can do if you open up to it and my goal would be to inspire uh, yeah, those in the audience to, uh, to open up to that international talent and to see what we can yeah, how, to, how we can aspire them to be active in. Well, it starts with ideas. It starts with spreading ideas. Um, you can always try and invent the wheel on your own, but let's see. Well, let's take the wheel subject. If it was not spread, then perhaps a small portion of, uh, of of the world would have cars and moving things, and the rest would still be walking around. So by sharing, you get to new ideas and you get to new insights, and that's yeah, how it works. So sharing creates innovation, and that's what we need in this area. Uh, inspiration, that's the most, uh, the most, yeah, uh, the biggest part actually. Um, to inspire, to, to, to think of new ideas, to be inspired, to um, get active with the ideas that are already shared. Uh, but it's basically just to get that mindset of, hey, I can change something if I want to, and to get that energy for it. Uh, they inspired me a lot. I remember the first time I went to TEDx Brainport in I think 2012-ish something. Um, I remember seeing these people on stage and getting really pumped with their new ideas and leaving those sessions and thinking, wow, this is great, this is great, this is great. You have all this energy and it's, it's, it's really nice to, to have that energy to, 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 and then you, you can create something. So, yeah. A very positive feeling of those events uh, helped me a lot. Yeah. My experience with uh, with TEDx is that it's it's a very positive feeling. So uh, that's the most enjoyable part. It's and, and doing that together with with other people and sharing that feeling and these ideas. And up to this part uh, for TEDx Tribes, well, we're still in the, in the introductory phase, but I'm still riding on on, on, on my how to. How to present my speech, but even that uh, uh, alone gives me new insights and new ideas of what I can use in my day to day. So it's kind of like uh, 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 yeah, what we call in the, in, in the industry sometimes we have these what we call high sessions, it's where you pick up a team, go somewhere else, out into the to the high to the fields, and basically just don't think about work for a while, but think about what we can achieve or what we can do differently. And these are uh, very important.